What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you what I majored in prior to PA school, why I made that decision to major in that area, why I felt that it would set me up for the best success in PA school, and also on top of that, what the best major is for PA school. So initially, I had a complicated path whenever I started undergrad. I was undeclared, I didn't know what it was that I wanted to do whenever I essentially grew up. I had no idea. Um, it wasn't the best feeling in the world going into your freshman year of college, taking these random classes and not feeling good about it, not knowing where you're supposed to be, um, not knowing honestly what just feels right. There are some of you that are in high school right now um, and you know exactly what you want to major in before PA school. That's great. That's awesome. Um, you're honestly five steps ahead of me from whenever I started uh, my undergraduate track. So props to you. That's awesome if you know. If you don't, it's okay. Uh, you still have time to figure it out. But again, I was undeclared and in my first semester, I found myself in a coding class, trying to learn how to code in C++ because I thought maybe I wanted to do something with computers, something CMIS related. Honestly, hated the class, I dropped it. I transferred schools after one semester and that's when I found that exercise science was a major that seemed applicable to me. I still didn't know if it was PA school that it was my ultimate goal. Um, I looked at physical therapy as well and there was a toss up between the two. I eventually decided on PA school and I felt like exercise science would set me up well for that just because I was most interested in orthopedics. So I did not want to major in chemistry, I did not want to major in biology or biochem or human health sciences, any of those other fields because again, I was solely focused on orthopedics and I felt like exercise science would give me a solid foundation and it really did. Honestly, you'll find that one of the drawbacks from applying to PA school and even medical school for that matter is that you really don't have a great plan B unless you are to major in some kind of engineering field then you have that to fall back on. But like the biologies, the chemistries, even exercise science, if you don't end up getting into PA school or med school um, and you don't want to go through the reapplication process, you're really just stuck with a degree with honestly few options in that field. So you're in a sense kind of putting all of your eggs in one basket, but if you work hard, if you if you know for a fact that it is PA school, that is your ultimate goal, you want to become a PA, then there's nothing that should be stopping you. You should have a plan B. If you don't get accepted, you're going to reapply the following year and eventually someone, a, a school will accept you. So that's my uh, little piece of advice relating to that real quickly. So back to the main point of this video, why did I choose exercise science? Well, again, orthopedics is very uh, much a musculoskeletal system. In exercise science, you learn every single muscle in the body, its action, uh, basically why the body moves like it does. And you also get some nutrition in that, in that curriculum as well. So that was very appealing to me because I was going into orthopedics. I really had absolutely zero interest in a biology or chemistry degree. I hated my biology prereqs. Uh, I hated learning about plants, honestly. Microbiology, uh, genetics was okay. Uh, but anything biology related, it just felt like a waste of time. I remember being in those labs throughout the semester. There were three, even four hour labs where you're just looking at slides of plants and different leaves and all of these microscopic findings uh, under a microscope that you're having to identify. And it's absolutely, it does not help you in any way to become a PA. So it's unfortunate that you, it almost feels like there's all these hurdles you have to jump through, all these loops you have to jump through just to get to where you're finally taking these those classes that actually mean something in PA school. Um, just hang in there if that's you right now. It's temporary, you'll get through it, but that's the reason why I didn't choose biology and the same thing for chemistry. Um, chemistry is probably a, a, maybe a little bit more applicable, especially when it comes to to the pharmacology side of things and, and uh, PA school and, and becoming a PA. So honestly, I just felt like exercise science was most applicable to me and my situation. So now to the second half of this video, what is the best major for PA school? Well, honestly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you major in biology or chemistry or biochem or exercise science or anything else. As long as you have a bachelor's degree, that's all that matters. That's all schools are really gonna look at. Whenever it comes to your application process, Having a specific major doesn't necessarily make you more competitive than another applicant. Your GPA, your patient care experience, your personal statement, those volunteer hours, all those other things, those are what programs are really gonna dial in on and focus on. I had people in my class who were mathematics majors, something totally out of left field, but they still got accepted to PA school because you have to take all of those prerequisites. And those are honestly the classes that prepare you the best for PA school, even though they don't really prepare you that much. 
they're gonna prepare you more than I'd say the, the classes within some of those majors would have, if that makes sense. So lastly, if I can offer one bit of advice, it would be to apply to those majors that are the science related ones. Those are gonna be the ones that are gonna set you up the best for PA school. It's okay if that's, if that's not your case, if you don't major uh, in one of those science related areas, again, you're still gonna have the prereqs to take. It'll still set you up pretty good for PA school. Um, but just keep in mind or bear in mind that during your application process or in your interview, you may be asked why you chose the major of mathematics and now you're applying to PA school. So you may have to, you might have to explain yourself, uh, give them some information on that, but ultimately choose a science related major. It'll set you up well for PA school and you'll be right up there with the rest of them. So that wraps up this video. I hope it provides some of you with a sense of clarity if you're really struggling on what it is you're gonna major in. Again, just know that it doesn't matter. Major in something science related to set yourself up the best for PA school. And, it, and also, something I didn't mention real quickly here, major in something that you're gonna find interesting and science related because you'll have more fun studying it over those four years versus something that you totally don't find interesting and you're only studying it just to get into PA school. So that wraps up this video. I hope it provides some clarity for those of you out there who are really struggling with what it is you wanna major in. I know the list seems endless, but Honestly, if you stick to one of those science related majors, you'll be just fine. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, drop a comment below if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and I hope you all have a great day.